I gotta start this video by taking back every critical word and every single joke that I made at the expense of Nick Nocturnal, okay? I think that the guy does great work and he's out here doing something that I really respect. So today, I'm gonna be getting into all of that drama and going over the Nick Nocturnal Medal Awards and all the results from it. Spoiler alert, I was snubbed and I'm annoyed, okay? So is this award show a total sham or is it worth your time? That is what we're going to explore here today. Hey, my name is Dan Frampton. Welcome to my little YouTube channel over here where I talk about music and other such things. If you leave a comment within the first three hours, I will reply. And that, my friends, is the Frampton guarantee. Okay, let's make some content. Are you familiar with who Nick Nocturnal is? I don't want to insult your intelligence, but I'm going to explain it a little bit. Nick Nocturnal is a streamer. He is a YouTuber. He is a guitar player. He is a guy with permanently black eyes for some reason, and he's known for doing fun metal things. He talks about rock and roll, he talks about heavy metal, and he's very successful at doing all of those things. On top of all that, over the last couple years, he's been doing this annual metal awards show. Now, award shows are normally all a bunch of hooey, okay? I don't really respect them, but for some reason, when Nick Nocturnal does it, I'm actually finding it pretty cool. I wanted to go into this with a whole bunch of like critical analysis. I kind of wanted to be a hater if I'm being honest with you. But by the time I got through all of it, I was an appreciator. I was a respecter. I was completely on board with the whole Nick Nocturnal approach of things. Yeah, sure, we might not agree on a lot of things. Yeah, sure, I might think some of the bands that he likes are kind of whack. And yeah, he might think the core kid in me is kind of whack. That's all fine, that's all cool, that's all whatever. But the award show that he does is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie with you. Unfortunately, I couldn't watch it live. The VOD isn't available yet, and there's no graphic released yet with all the results of who won the thing. So the only place that I could find it is over here on Heavy Metal Philosophy. Go check him out. Give him a sub. Huge shout out. But let's just go over some of these categories, starting with Breakdown of the Year, going to Knocked Loose. Good job, Knocked Loose. These guys made so much noise this year with their new record, with their collaboration with Poppy, with their Jimmy Kimmel appearance. Knock Loose was on the tip of everybody's tongue who was into heavy metal, punk rock, or alternative culture whatsoever. And the song Suffocate, seeing it get its flowers right off the bat, hell yeah. That breakdown does go very hard. Super vicious. Huge shout out to Nick Nocturnal's outfit over here. Very glittery, very ill-fitting. Love it. The next category over here, best animal noises of the year. I gotta say, I love the fact that the metal awards are done by an internet person. It's the perfect merger of old school metalhead isms and brain rot. I'm a huge fan. I'm on board, Nick. Let's collab. Greystone, Left to Suffer, Pale Face Swiss, Wage War, and your winner for best animal noises, White Chapel. A Visceral Wretch. Whitechapel is a very vicious band. I can see how they got this award. I'm not familiar with this song. Didn't do much Whitechapel listening this year. But it's good to know that they're taking home an award for Animal Noises of the Year. Huge category coming up next, folks. We got Vocalist of the Year. Who laid down the best pipes? Was it Ronnie Radke? Was it Ollie Sykes? Brian Garris? Okay, I'm down with that. Could it have been Alex Terrible? One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. One of these things isn't terribly toxic and annoying online. And the rest of them are. Okay, who's gonna take home this category though? This isn't like least toxic person online category. This is vocalist of the year. I'm not a fan of Ronnie's vocals. His rapping is so cringe. His screaming is awful. Ollie Sykes has that kind of like nostalgic kind of thing going on, especially this year. Alex Terrible really is just terrible. Hate that guy. Brian Garris, I like his vocals. I can see why a lot of people don't like Brian Garris' vocals. They sound like he's like perpetually bleeding from the vocal cords, but I think he's really sick. And he's got some good animal noises too. He can do a good pig, he can do a good dog, you name it. But who's taking home vocalist 
of the year. I'm actually so stoked to see who this is gonna be. Vocalist of the year going to Courtney LaPlante from Spirit Box. Damn, that is such a good shout. I wouldn't have even thought of that. But yeah, if you're not familiar with those pipes. He's got a lot of range. Definitely a lot of range. 100% deserves that award. Next category, we got the best blah. I don't know who's gonna get this. I don't even have a good guess. Didn't listen to a lot of music with blahs in it this year, but Poppy wins best blah. I definitely know that blah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I agree with that. Hell of a song, hell of a blah. Good to see Poppy walk away with a fun little metal award. Drummer of the year, huge category here. Ocean's 8 Alaska, Dream Theater, always with the Mike Portnoy, always a safe bet. Buster Odeholm, I'm not familiar with any of those bands if I'm being honest with you. Throne, Humanity's Last Breath, Viljarta, I said that incorrectly, I'm sorry. <laughs> Slaughter to Prevail, getting the nod here too. Who's walking away with drummer of the year? Gojira. Yeah, good drummer. The guy's absolutely cracked. Next category, bassist of the year. Job for a cowboy, Ginger, Kubla Khan, System of a Down, bassist of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Spirit Box walking away with another one. I don't have any insight on this. They're a good band, so I bet he's a great little bassist. I don't listen to them. I'm not great of a frequency or whatever, but it's cool to see Spirit Box walk away with a lot of flowers over here. Best metal news source. Okay? Now I don't know if I'd necessarily call my channel a news source, more of just commentary and shit posting and that kind of thing, but I definitely think I should have been nominated for this category and I'm feeling snubbed right now. But let's just see who the news source of the year is. Metal Injection, r slash metalcore. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, that's good. Good reaction, face palm for sure. Rock feed. <laughs> <laughs> Good shout out to Rockfeed, but Loudwire walks away with it. You gotta love the Loudwire and the Rockfeed shout out at the top of this. How are these news sources? These are news aggregators at best. Okay, here's another big one. Guitarist of the year. A lot of really good guitar players in heavy metal and rock and roll. It's kind of the whole thing. Black Dahlia Murder. Okay. Okay. Unprocessed. Not familiar. Manuel. Gonna have to get familiar with that. But this one's all about the winners. Dragon Force. Okay, that guy can definitely shred for sure. Herman. While She Sleeps. Sean Long. But number one, All That Remains. Jason Richardson. <laughs> That's some quality weedly 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 woos, all right? That guy can definitely weedle his face off. Label of the year. Let's shout out the label of the year, why not? Sumerian Records walking away with it. Yay, good for you, Sumerian Records. I should really do a punk rock version of this. I wouldn't put nearly this much effort into it, though. <laughs> this is way too much effort. Angriest song of the year. Slaughter to prevail, conflict. Not even gonna give you a taste. Instead, we're just gonna move on to the next category, which is best call out of the year. Again, another amazing category. I got to give it up to Nick Nocturnal. Blinding Faith by Knock Loose is going to get the best call out of the year. Knock Loose had a hell of a year. Metal Content Creator of the Year. Now I know I primarily focus on punk rock, okay? But there's a little bit of a Venn diagram going over here with that Knock Loose band, okay? Knock Loose kind of has their foot in the hardcore punk rock world and kind of has another foot in the whole metal Coachella world. Maybe they have actually like three or four different feet. I'm not sure. But either way, I should be in this category and I've been snubbed. Who do we got? El Estepario Siberiano, Opal in the Sky, Drumio, Tank the Tech. Of course Tank the Tech is walking away with it. You guys familiar with Tank the Tech? Probably. He used to be a roadie, now he's a YouTuber. He has a lot of insights, valuable insights. I can see him getting this award. There he is right there. Handsome fella, Tank the Tech. Nice beard, very thick and bushy. Good for him. I like how Nick Nocturnal didn't nominate himself for that award. If it was me, I woulda. Okay, this next award is called Feels Are Reels. I hate that. Bring me the horizon with Dig It. Those feels are not reels. I hated those feels. That entire record, man, I was not a fan of. So I disagree with this one. Not a fan. <laughs> Ollie Sykes. All right, whatever. I'll let you have your Ollie Sykes for the day. Breakthrough Band of the Year. Disembodied Tyrant. Gotta say that is a pretty cool band name. 
Okay, yeah, that's pretty sick. Disembodied Tyrant. Okay, here we go. Another gigantic category. Music video of the year. Baby Metal and Electric Cowboy with ta 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 All right, Never Sleeps Nicholas. I'll give it to you. Baby Metal walking away with Music Video of the Year. I buy it. Best Metal Head to Follow. Next year, all these categories are mine. Scene Queen, The Elder Emo, Jose Manguin, Metal Breakdowns, but walking away with it is Craig Reynolds. Good for you, Craig Reynolds. You're the internet's favorite metalhead right now. Oh, the most fun metal thing. I like this category a lot. The Linkin Park Countdown. That was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Motionless and White at WWE. More than just in WWE. That was at WrestleMania, playing the theme song of Rhea Ripley during her entrance. Badass. That would definitely be my most fun metal thing, but it definitely didn't win, unfortunately. Slipknot on Hot Ones. Gojira at the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, that kind of took the internet by storm. All those balconies that they were standing on playing their little guitars. I can see it. I can definitely see it. But the Olympics aren't fun. It's kind of stuffy. It was just like the biggest, most viral metal moment, I guess. Collab song of the year. Honestly, if this doesn't go to Knock Loose, I'm ending the video. Knock Loose and Poppy. Okay, good. I knew it. The video can continue. Good to see them walk away with another one. Big year for both of these artists. Poppy's record was great. Knock Loose records was great. Their collab was awesome. The performance on Jimmy Kimmel shook the internet. Loved every bit of it so it's really good to see them get the uh get the attention from the nick nocturnal audience song of the year is it gonna go to knock loose again no i don't think this one's gonna go to knock loose ice nine kills spirit box bring me the horizon Ugh, gojira maybe no lincoln park the emptiness machine best song of the year Really? Rose tinted glasses, people. <laughs> that is not a good song. It's okay at best. A monumental comeback, even. But song of the year? Emptiness machine? R E T A R D E D. EP of the year. The plot in you, volume one. No, this should have went to Candy. This definitely should have went to Candy. Candy had the heaviest and most awesome, like metal adjacent EP that I heard this year. Album of the year. Poppy, Negative Spaces, Falling in Reverse, Popular Monster, Linkin Park, From Zero. Oh no, who's walking away with this? Bring the Horizon, Post Human. Okay, with all those big ones out of the way, it's, it's Knock Loose. Knock Loose won this, obviously. Album of the Year, yeah, get it over with. Come on now. Drum roll, please. Knock Loose, yeah, obviously. Dude, that's sick that Nick Nocturnal actually had trophies made up for this kind of thing. I would not go through that amount of effort. I'd like buy a bunch of lighters and then write some graffiti on it and then send it out to my winners. Next year, these awards are all mine. Clean sweep. I'm gonna be the drummer of the year, the guitar player of the year, the bassist of the year, the singer of the year, the album of the year, the content creator of the year, the metalhead to follow of the year, and the news source of the year. I have eight disciplines to master over the next 12 months. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch my slop channel. It's kind of popping off right now, not gonna lie. Okay, take care and have a go.